All right, we are leaving Langhorn Creek for a bit. We've been a bit too comfortable, plugged into water and power for, and around mates for too long. So we are making tracks. We are heading up to Flinders. So can't wait to get off grid again and do a couple of cook-ups. I'm actually really, really excited. One, we've never done Flinders before. Yeah. We live like a couple hundred, couple hours down the road. We have never yeah, gone. Just down the road. Just down the road. Um, yeah, but, yeah, we are sending it. It's about a five and a half hour yep. drive today. Um, we were supposed to leave at 8 o'clock, I think it's already after 9. Um... It's what it is. <laughs> Travelling with kids, you know what it's like. But, but yeah, I think the weather's supposed to be pretty ordinary, but it sounds like it's going to be like that anyway, so we've got it up there. Have a look, see what's what. If we like it, we'll just have to do it again. What a shame. Happy medium here. Yeah? I hope you're on the same page. I can't think of the word though. Sky and Wi Fi. I know what word I need, but I can't think of it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! And if you say it, then you can't say it again. Alright, what if I just say what the word is and you tell me if this is the word you think you're <laughs> Why yeah? are you so stupid? You're not. It's just. Yeah? You yeah. Know, satellite? That's the word. Ah. <laughs> Fifty-two minutes to go. Watch it. We've succumbed to a movie. This guy is smashing it. We still haven't stopped. We have, yeah. We're just um, smashing it. We're probably our own worst enemies, really. Like we. Yeah. We've got so many options to pull over <laughs> for the kids and let them run around. But I know. I I think we're doing them a favour by getting here quicker yes. so they've got a bit of time to run around the arvo and we're doing everyone a favor so that we can actually get to camp set up so that's how our brains work anyway <laughs> we'll kill ourselves in a five and a half hour drive it was actually probably nearly six hour drive yeah, really a um van. plus a van so yeah over a six hour drive kill ourselves in the car to get to somewhere and set up a total of 30 seconds before Smack i was demanding <laughs> But I will get you a drink of water, yeah? But next time you hear from us, oh, yeah, we'll be there. I might have jinxed us. Five minutes later. <laughs> Coming in to set up now. I'm not super thrilled about the amount of flies. I don't know if you can see them all, but there are a lot. I'm definitely gonna eat one in a second. Um, but that's just part of it. I'm excited to be here. I think, I think that's Mount Little right behind us there. We did so well. Time to get out. Alrighty, so we've just arrived at Mount Little Station and they give you this little handy pack that kind of gives you everything you need. You got a little map here. You got the small side with all the campsites. We're staying over here at 19. And then this side's the bigger one for when you do all your four wheel drive tracks and stuff. Um, I think you follow it pretty loosely, that map. And then we've got the, the pirate treasure. So if you've heard of Mount Little, you've heard of the pirate treasure walk. And then all this, this little information just helps you figure out what's going on and tells you about the place here. So um, nice handy little start to the stay. You can't tell. The flies are pretty bad if the dog's keeping the hairnet on. Hairnet? 
on it. Same thing. Oh, Linky. Oh, baby. What's going on, mate? We're going to go climb a mountain today? Uh, yeah. I'll show you which one it is. Come over here. Uh, is it that one? We're going all the, the way up. Drive? Over there. Can you see that big mountain there? Yeah. yeah. That's what we're going up. Are we climbing up? Yeah, we're going to go for a drive. Drive it up? Yep. Let's get ready. Uh -huh. Let's go. Now, there is a thunderstorm coming, if you can't see. <laughs> We're going up there. <laughs> Check out the rain. We made it. Made it. Look at this. We're gonna have to add our own rock to this can up here. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that. How cool. 360 view from Mount Little. What do you reckon, Scarlett? Pretty cool. Yeah. What do you think of the drive up here? A bit rocky, wasn't it? There's a storm coming. Yeah. There is a storm coming. You see over there, there's a, seen a couple of flashes and that looks like a bit of rain coming. So we'll shut the drone up, get an even higher view from here. All right, we're starting to hear thunder. I don't know how good of an idea this was. Clear as day out there. Oh, apart from yeah, that bit there. Look at that, and then not nice out there. You can see it in Linky's hair. Boo. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, that was pretty <laughs> quick. It's raining. I think we'll definitely try to go back up there again, but I was about to say this looks like the easier track to take. But... <laughs> this is supposedly the chicken track down, but navigate this shit. Try not to... Try not to what? Shake your pants? Yeah. Oh, that did not feel good. It's running down my legs. <laughs> Alright, so coming this way, we've actually headed like... So we're from back here. We've come up. Ooh, it's hard to see. And we're going this way. Um, and out here, I think there's what? A little... A little produce hut. Um, yeah, a little mount, little store. Uh, I think they do like, yeah, just produce and like dog treats and stuff out here. Yeah, so we're gonna go check that out and then be home before the storm really hits us, I think. How you going? Oh, I thought this way would be easier. But it's harder. <laughs> nah, it definitely is. Like, I wouldn't like to go back down the other way. I mean, like, yeah, it's all good, but like, why would you go down a way that you just come up? Yeah. If you had the choice. All right, so we've ended up just driving around. We didn't go to the little um, shop because that storm was coming straight at us. But it's actually kind of kind of cleared up. There's still a storm behind us. You, you can see the rain, but we're just not really sure. I'd love to go for a hike, but yeah. I don't want to get stuck somewhere in like there's lightning everywhere. There's thunder. We've got three kids and a dog, so we have just taking a couple of the full drive tracks. This one is Harvey's Rocks and it takes us up to a hill, which again, could be a really bad idea with this stop. But we're going up here somewhere. Alrighty, we've done it, you banger. She's coming in hot. This road is just turned swamp already. Look at that, I don't know if you can see the puddles just filling already. Oh, up we go. Yeah, already wet as sloshy, slippery. Get home before we get in trouble, I think. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, those are, uh, what is it, two cartons if you have to ask for help, and uh, 500 bucks if you need the tractor to come help you out, so. Not to mention standing around in this. Okay, let's go see. There's money right there. It's still raining. Look at that. What's the team? Really muddy. Let's check what's on the other side. Oh, look at the back. Really muddy. But at least the whole. But at least that is not dirty. Let's. <laughs> he actually got a lot dirtier, but it's not that dirty. No, nah, it's not. Really dirty. Did you have fun though in the car? Yeah. Yeah. So believe it or not, this is a couple of hours later. Sun's shining, roads are dry. Uh, so we thought we'd get out while we can and go check out this gorge. A um, little bit of a walk, I think it's a half hour walk. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, um, I've just been for a run, so I'm already cooking. Um, but yeah, it should be good. Go check this out, and that's one more thing ticked off. Okay, so this is Mayo Gorge we're heading to. Now, there are poison all around here somewhere, so not for his, not for him being naughty, but he's got to have his nose on. I'm hoping it's not like around the track. It says dogs are welcome as long as they're on a leash or muzzle. So he's kind of both like this. So. Let's see, but there's so many walks here. Like this is like basically a whole huge hiking station. Oh. And yes, we are carrying, if we would slow down, carrying our never opened snake bite kit. That's a good problem to have, isn't it? Good problem to have. But yeah, so we're gonna head left, left down this way or you got honeymoon walk up there somewhere. And we're going to head this way. Let's go. We're not really sure. I think this is it. I think, I don't know. There's oh, not. No. There's no signs or anything anywhere. So like, I'd be disappointed if we came all the way here and this wasn't here. I think this is it. You reckon? Yeah. Okay, okay, buddy. Obviously, I imagine it would be more full at times, but. There is more water that way, slightly. Bit of just a puddle. Maybe we haven't come far enough. Yeah, so we've walked further past all of that. There's like little streams that way. You keep walking and then you come to this end here. We, there's no signage at all. So I think this is where everyone swims. And then I imagine this, some seasons would fill up. All right, so these arrows are for the Heisen Trail. Um, so that's a huge trek. So I don't know, still don't know where this gorge ends. I imagine this is the end of the gorge, but yeah, this is all part of the Heisen, Heisen how do you say it? It says Heisen Trail? Yeah. Doesn't that go all the way back to like, where we're from? Yeah. Hills. Yeah. That's crazy. Mom, we so got, we got all part of that. Yeah. Just like we're on the west coast again. Oh, God. Yeah. Are they all over me? All over you. It's like a rash. Uh, this is what it's about. So, kids have been rats, especially Teddy, today. But they're just having a bit of downtime now. We've got the fire going. Dad's cooking up some dinner on the fire. Mum and Dad are having a bit of downtime. It's been a long day. Nah, actually, here. Yeah. <laughs> Scarlett has just set us off a challenge. What's your challenge? It's the best one ever. Steady. Now, where are we? Wow. Beautiful yeah. rock tower. So, how many are you going to build before we leave here? I'm gonna make 30 is the challenge. 30 is the challenge before we leave here. But so you got two more nights. But if I make 40, if 
if I make 50, the challenge is over. Well, yeah, you smash it if you make 50. I, I got, got it. it. I got this triangle one. Ugh. A triangle. I found that. Uh. Good one, Ted. I'm going to use that for the bottom. Now we're the best team. Hope you enjoy. We have gone to I mean, the homestead. Come out with a pack of... Barbecue pack. 27 bucks. A few but, burgers, a couple of snacks, a few chops. Should be good. Should be good. Hopefully. I don't think we've got anything else to go with it. Ah, a bit of bread. Tomato sauce. <laughs> We're on the basics here. So good you don't need sauce. <laughs> Apparently. We need sauce. So good you don't need salad. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had lunch and I've had a couple, so I'm a bit sideways. We're over here cooking the barbie. And then just look at this. Just watch this. These guys are over here building rock towers and stretching. This is no insight to how our day was. I can guarantee you it was a shit show. Look who's back in action. Got your pee plates on? Mate, I'm flying around a tree. I am good. Oh, look. Can you hear that? Not mad. Can you hear that? Nothing. Nothing. That is the beauty. Yeah, the wind and the flies suck. But I mean, check out this view. Oh, shit. How long before you yell at me? I don't think he's very happy at me. Oh, oh he stopped. <laughs> this is big. <laughs> oh. That's funny, don't you? <laughs> you want to swap? Yeah, we're right. Doing a treasure hunt. Yeah, trying to find the pirate cave. Yeah, and and when we and get in the pirate we cave, find we find the. Tr we need to find the key before we open it. We need to find the key, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, and we need to and open, we open it. need to find. But no one knows, treasure. but no one knows what's in it. No, that's what we're oh, gonna find out. Look. So you got your map I, there. Yep, the map. Yep. And the edge marks the spot is at the cave. All right, we'll see if we can find it. Yeah. yeah. Kayla. What, are the, what did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? God, I don't know. Hi, matey.
Oh. 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 That's the only tricep. Oh, I got swords. How cool is that? Wait, oh. is this the actual coin? It's a gold coin. All right, so that was the little trek out to the pirate cave there. It was an awesome little walk, actually. Kids smashed it. Can I have one Yes, here, Peter. Yes. <laughs> Kids smashed it. Um, I, yeah, when we got to the end, they were a little bit wary of the old mate pirate in there, but um, yeah. bad fun. They were playing around with the swords, um, chuck the pirate and hat on. The, and the pirate is dead now. He's dead now. Yeah, he's just a skeleton now, isn't he? Yeah. So yeah, we're going to go for a little bit more of a drive and check out that um, station store that we were supposed to suss out yesterday. So hopefully there's a bit of produce there. And, and the spider. <laughs> there was a that dead was a spider. spider, so he yeah. wasn't there. Let's go. Uh, so this is a skull tree. Pretty self-explanatory. Look away if you're vegan. <laughs> Perfect set. What does that have to do with anything? They're already dead. That's what I mean. Um, yeah. Perfect little Halloween setup. This one's still got a skin on it. Yeah. Love that. Look at the size of some of these things. So this is the little museum, I think. Oh, they did too. Just an old farm memorabilia, I reckon. Ooh. There's some... What are they? Rabbit, that's a rabbit. Yeah. They're all rabbits. Oh, that sound. <laughs> Anyone that's been in a shearing shed. And that smell. If you were here, that makes me think of old shearing days. We love owls. We protect. We like ours, but we don't know what happened. It could have... Could have got... It could have... Maybe... Maybe it got eaten by a crocodile. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> then how is it here? <laughs> You're obsessed with being crocodiles eating things. Alright, we found the store. Well, and it really I is little. Well, I... Oh, it goes down. Look at that. I was really expecting it to be that small. There you go. go. It's nice and cool down here. It is. What do we got here? Dog treats. Lip balm. Chutney. Gins, chutney. I hope we got gin. Honey. Ah, what do we got here? Yeah, big boy. He is actually. Get out of it. Let him cross. Oh. Ah, what do we got here? Oh, it's coming for us. Yeah, big boy. So these are the baths they have here. That. Really cool, but we came the other day and we can't get water to them, let's, unfortunately. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if they work. Yeah, they work. Nah. Can you just imagine sitting there? I think it faces sunrise.
The rains are here. What are we doing with ourselves today? Uh, are we waiting for this rain to pass? Uh, all the bad stuff's not supposed to come in until later, so it's just a bit of much needed rain, and then I think it's supposed to be coming in pretty windy and uh, stormy later, so we've packed up everything outside, everything's locked away, so we don't have to worry about a thing. And uh, yeah, we'll just wait this out, I guess. Yeah, who knows? Not much we can do in this. Keep the car in the plane. Oh, oh, it's coming right at me. Let's not do that. All right, so we're on our last day here and we realized we haven't even given you a site rundown yet. Um, we've decided to bunker down in the caravan today with this storm coming in. Yeah, um, yeah we had the option to what, go out to the Prairie Hotel, the famous Prairie Hotel, but, um, well, that's come up. Um, but yeah, I think the weather was so hit and miss. We didn't know whether we were going to get sort of flooded in or, uh, yeah. You know, blown off the road or whatever. So. I think we kind of knew that coming to the Flinders. Mm. We knew that the weather was going to be really hit and miss, but I think that's the thing here. Yeah. Is it really is hit and miss, and you just don't know if the weather's going to get it right. Like the yeah. um, bur bu bu what it had, Bureau? Bureau. <laughs> is going to get it right or wrong. And when the storms come, they can be brutal. Yeah. Um, so talking about the weather, I reckon your safe spot, safe sort of time of year to come here where you're going to get your prime weather is probably between what april and now like october i honestly i don't know we've never done it before well like, I, I, I think used, that's the guide well, i used to work at roxby and it's i guess it's much similar weather to this yeah. and sort of april to september october was your sort of prime time and then it starts to heat up if as you can't you, tell there's lots as of you can flies see. <laughs> but yeah anyway you want to run us through our site what um, do you so like about it the most we're on site 19 which yes. is called old gum old gum yep. if you can't tell Look at that bad boy. And that one behind you there. I think that's actually our old gum I there. I think that's our old gum there. So this is site 19. And honestly, it's awesome. It's all stone, um, which has been really good because it's been raining. So we've had heaps of rain. So we're not muddy. We've driven past a lot of sites that are got completely flooded out. Um, then again, the sun came out and it was dry five seconds later. But in the meantime, with three littlies, that would have been pretty messy. Um, oh, good oh, morning. Hello. Hi. Oh, mate's waking up. Hello, baby. Hey, should we shut that door? Yeah, shut that. <laughs> okay. Um, hello. Winky's awake. Actually, now the one thing I liked about this as well is that it's got not just little trashy, too windy out here, little trashy, you know, people make their own fire pits, but it's actually got designated little spots here and over there. So, depending on, way, on what way the wind's going, you can sort of light your fire wherever you want it's so it's not blowing your van huge so you could have so many vans down here yeah. and this is just our site and then the next site we are actually like a pair our driveway is a pair but the next site was like way over there somewhere you yeah. couldn't even oh, probably 200 meters that way yeah but i mean yeah all this sort of around there that is all our site so yeah. if you came here with a group of mates you know you could easily easily fit far out four or five vans in here who knows but yeah. that over there that's the main road there and we can't hear anyone coming and going so it's been awesome this is definitely one of the sites that i'd pick if we were to come again yep um 100 i mean yeah we had a little bit of shade which was good some are completely open and yeah each to their own but i think i think you're right with the rocks though like it def definitely has um helped keep the sort of dirt out of the van and yeah. keep the kids relatively clean. Yeah, but there, yeah, that's our site anyway. Site 19, Mount Little Station. And um, it's been a pretty good stay. Mm. Did you eat a fly there, buddy? You're right. <coughs> oh my God, today has been absolutely exhausting. Everyone is hot. It is, we're just waiting for this storm to really hit. It's taken so long. It's the end of the, it's four o'clock or something now, but um, yeah, we're basically, we bunk it down and I don't think there was a right or wrong answer here, but we were, all we're doing is now getting some fresh air before this rain hits again, hey. Building some towers. <sighs> How do you feel about today? Dusty, hot. Barely see the rangers over there. Look at that. Hot, 
for the dusty board. Tired. That, that's it. Can't even cook because it's too hot inside. It's too thing, windy. We're kicking outside. ourselves, obviously, because like the weather was good enough. We could have gone for a bit of a drive and that, but we just oh, sorry. Plus <laughs> <laughs> one extreme. But then um, again, like you said, like you can't even see anything. Yeah. You can't see anything out there. Yeah. It's all about what ifs, like, you know. The weather out here turns so quickly that it just wasn't worth the risk, but it's been, for a complete nothing day, it's been absolutely brutal. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was just saying, Kayla, we're probably lucky that we've got a bit of shelter here from Mount Little. You, oh yeah, there's Mount Little. You can just see it still now. it's coming from. And, um, yeah, it's... Coming in. Alright, officially bunkered in. Storm's hit, pouring ourselves a drink. Kids have got a movie. It is going off out there. Lightning everywhere. What do you reckon? You're not a fan of storms, are you? That's right, I'll pass soon. So obviously a bit of a show put on last night. That was pretty nuts, but um, yeah, we can't actually we can't leave leave today. Um, so apparently, yeah, there's no chance that we're going to get the van out of here. But we'll um, we should be able to get the car out later in the day. So we'll go for a bit of a drive, um, head to town and have a look around because that's about all we can do. Because all the roads around here will be pretty knackered. So no four wheel driving today, not on purpose anyway. Do you reckon um, no four-wheel driving for like five days? Yeah, yeah, and they've lost power as well, so that sucks. That, luckily they've got backup generators and that, but uh, yeah, no power or anything. But anyway, good amount of water Ready, for the animals and stuff, and <laughs> yeah, see what we we'll get up to today. We've quickly come down to see the aftermath of the storm down here. So this is the road we take to get to like the tavern and stuff is over there and all the four wheel drive tracks that we've been taking, they're over there. And if you can see, the road's actually gone. So we've been taking this road every single day and over, it's hard, but way over there, you can see that there's two rivers now. Um, and there are campers over there and they can't get back out right now. Um, so yeah, it's, um, what we didn't think was a lot of rain. It's all come down. It's all flowing over there. Yeah, we can't get to them and they can't get out. It's all, so beyond me there, that's all four-wheel drive. Um, it's all, I imagine, looks very similar to like this right now. They don't recommend towing through it. They don't recommend leaving right now. So she's wet and soggy and much needed rain for this area. Just um, a bit sorry if you had any other plans. We didn't have any other bookings, so we're just going to... We're going to get to the main road and um, go out to Parachilna to the, I think it's the Prairie pub. Um, kind of glad we didn't do it yesterday now because we can do it today. So we're going to go out there, check out the main road, see what else is flooded and go for a pub scene. So this is the main road here. So we're just we parked up at the entry here to the station. This is the main road. And we're gonna have to come through this. There's two cars about to come past too, let's see. Going very slow.
So we got the kangaroo schnitzel and the beef burger. It was a close third for the lamb. It looked good. I'm not sharing. You're not sharing? Yes, you are. And the kids just get chips. How's your schnitzel? It's good. The oh, chips are a bit spicy. I'm right. excited to share my burger. <laughs> So yeah, we made it to the prairie. Um, a couple little water crossings on the way. Um, but yeah, some of it you can see it's been way higher last night and it's just dropped off completely. But yeah, a couple of um, little pubs we had to drive through and no! yeah, made it here. We got an iconic Outback pub. What do you reckon? What do you got there? Chippy. Ew. No nugs? No nugs. Bugger. Alrighty, we're back, the fire's going. We're gonna make an easy stroke tonight. Thanks Link, appreciate you. <laughs> this would be the second lot of dinner on the ground if you drop it. <laughs> Lincoln kindly threw all of our dinner onto the ground, if you can't see. The wind is randomly picked up, which is fun. Dinner time. Well, she's definitely simmered. <laughs> Been on here for what, probably two hours, simmering away. <laughs> We've added oh. spaghetti. She looks pretty good. Spag bog. Spag bog or spag bog? What do you go by? Bog. Bog, yeah, exactly. Spag bog. 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 Spag Pasta was actually cooked for the kids like two hours ago. So we get the secondhand scraps here. Yes. Oh, last night Mount Little. What do you think? Look, it's been good. What a place, honestly. I would have loved to see more of the ranges. We just don't have the time right now. Um, and I was about to say it's getting hotter again in the season, but it's... It's bloody freezing, it's freezing <laughs> right now. Um, so yeah, like we have to come back. Like I can't believe we live like in the same state. Like we yeah. li basically we live down the road. I like, don't like saying it's a six hour drive away from where we live. Yeah. But that's not a hell of a lot when you consider we could have done a lot of trips up here in the past and yeah. made do. But it's we been such a good stay here at Mount Little. Um, we've sort of got that extra day due to the um, flood damage and that, but um, no, it's been good. Yep. And then we it, absolutely have to come back. Yep. So to yeah. a couple of the other stations. <laughs> Can I just? Um. This is Boyd right now. <laughs> I'm freezing. Like it's not that get, cold. I don't get so that pass right now. Tough enough, princess. Uh -oh. It's not that cold. Get full. Yeah. We're, this is our last bit of wood. We're nearly out of wood. We're gonna eat dinner. Fish a red wine and. Yeah, and then I think pack up tomorrow and I uh, think we are making our way down to Clare for the next yeah. couple of nights. So Can I just, hang on, sorry, you're shivering. Yesterday, we spent the, van, the, the day <laughs> in 40 degrees in that bloody hot box over there that the child's escaping from, in like 40 degrees, and now we're shivering. Um, so this is from I'd the much strangers. Rather, I'd, I'd much rather <laughs> this at the moment than what we were going through yesterday. So at least we can rug up, you know let this fire burn out and then we can um, go chill out in the van. Yeah. But I think that's about be it for Flinders Ranges for us. Unfortunately, we, yeah, with the with the rain, we don't get to go to another station because mm. we're out of days. So we're going to just add a day or two to Clare, go see Clare, because again, that's only three hours away and we still have never done Clare. I get, yeah, I know. And um, by the time we actually post this, oh, I'm making that <laughs> go get oh, smoked God. out. You should be yeah. in bed.
What were you saying? I was about to say, by the time we actually post this, we've been a bit quiet for a couple of weeks on YouTube, but yeah, by the time this goes up, we will be doing the full drive and full adventure drive show? adventure show <laughs> <laughs> in, in Adelaide this weekend. So um, yeah, 25th through the 27th. So Don't touch. That's... Don't touch. All right, so our son's no longer trying to set himself alight. So <laughs> what I was saying, yeah, by the time this goes up, this weekend, the 25th to, through to the 27th of October, full drive adventure show in Adelaide. We are absolutely pumped. We don't know what to expect still. Can't wait. We um, don't know much of what's happening. We don't know if we've <laughs> got our car or not. Who knows? But yeah, come say good day if you're around Adelaide. Um, tickets are online, we're at the gate. And yeah, we'll be in the content creator section. So come say good day and we'll hopefully see you there. <laughs> What's that? Is that code for something? Oh, Jesus. There you go. What's going on there? <laughs>